Hello, Mr. Postman was here this morning. So let's see what he brought me from China Express. It will be only short video, only two small packages. Now please excuse the crudity of this video. I should really buy better equipment or at least tripod. And we have... Oh. Okay, we have Arduino Mini. Okay, this is really cool. Let's open it up. I think it should be 5 volt one. You have to use separate USB adapter with it. I'll show you later. And this thing is, believe it or not, below dollars with shipping I just bought one to try it out and we have a small header pins here which are not soldered which is good because maybe I want to use it wires with these not headers okay okay so let's see the other package Okay, uh, these are just the spy connectors, I call them spy connectors to steal the power or signal from a wire. It is not really the best solution to use for lazy men to steal like, uh, well they are taps, to tap uh, into a wire for signal or for power so this is the, just the stuff I ordered it's not really something interesting but you may see it in some of my projects these four pins are A4, A5, A6, A7 they are uh, not in line with these pins so it's uh, it may be breadboard incompatible and uh, it is also misaligned in this direction and also a little bit like this on the front side there is reset switch some passive components leds voltage regulator small one so probably is mm, i don't know i have to it's probably 5 volt version i'll check it out and on this side there are pins marked black, green, VCC, RXTX and uh, green. So I'm not sure what this black and green is. Probably another ground, ground VCC, RXTX and uh, green is probably a reset pin. Let's find a USB adapter and try to hook it up. Okay, so I have here my CH340G USB adapter for Arduino. It is a, a USB to TTL converter because uh, Arduino works with uh, TTL logic levels and to connect it to computer you need a USB interface which is this chip. It is CH340G like I said. So what do we have here? 3.3 volt switch, 5 volt switch. This is the main interface chip CH340G. It is uh, alternative to FTDI. It works and it is cheap. FTDIs are relatively expensive. Few bucks and this whole thing costs, I don't know, I think you can get it around 1 US dollar including shipping. Additionally you have 12 megahertz quartz oscillator, some LED, some passive stuff, a reset switch. Uh, this is a neat thing. Most of these uh, interfaces or programmers, it is 3.3 and 5 volt switch for logic level. Sometimes um, you can use this for other applications, also not only Arduino. Sometimes you will need these uh, chips are fa fairly tolerant. So if it's 3.3, you can feed it 5 voltage, it will be okay. But uh, the other devices may require 3.3 volts, then 
instead of building voltage divider and whatnot, you just have a simple switch here. Then you have a header and of course USB connector. The header is labeled ground CTS, which is clear to send. VC meaning VCC output voltage. It feeds voltage from USB to this VCC, which is that voltage you select. TXD transmit data, RXD receive data, and DTR data terminal ready. Some LED here. Uh, it is a serial interface to connect ground to ground, voltage VCC to VCC, then transmit and receive you cross connected. So transmit here goes to receive on your device and receive here goes to transmit on the device so it's a two-way serial interface then you have cts and dtr uh, one of these uh, sends a reset signal to your arduino so when you program it it puts it in program mode automatically and gets it out of program models automatically so you don't have to worry about. you can do it manually also but this thing is much easier and if you are in the market for this interface check the one that has this capability okay so let's compare the pins um, between arduino and the usb interface if you hold it like this on arduino you have from down to up green which goes to dtr then tx which goes to rx on the interface then rx which goes to tx vcc to vcc ground to cts and black to ground what i'm thinking it's probably should be connected like this directly because rx tx is correct vcc is correct dtr goes to green whatever that is this is probably the reset pin and cts to ground black to ground yes yeah, so i'll just connect it straight even the pitch is good <laughs> yeah so i hit it up my soldering iron which is if you are interested to know see vtcps it is the iron i have since my since my childhood uh, it is um, you cannot control the temperature directly it is the one that uses kiri point to control temperature that means it has a little magnet in the tip for each uh, for for certain temperature when this magnet hits up uh, this small um, uh, elementary magnets will just uh, turn chaotic and uh, this thing will temporarily lose some magnetism and disconnect then when it cools down it will connect again it's very old but reliable iron and uh, yeah i still like it so let's hook this thing up to a computer and see how it works like i said i'll just connect it straight without dtr pin on arduino side so here it goes there is no magic smoke escaping okay so let me rewire it what you see here is blinking led sketch or program uh, built in or programmed in this thing so at least i know there is a sketch inside okay i got it working now as it turned out i chose the wrong device i thought it was arduino pro mini because this is what they wrote here it should be arduino mini also i have arduino micro which is a bigger than mini so i always found that confusing also this cabling if you connect it with six wires straight it works but if you connect it with five wires you have to connect it like this you should um, it's straight but you should there is no need to connect cts pin but it is important to connect the last pin which is noted dtr on the usb interface and uh, here black bl Okay, so this is uh, the reset line. So interestingly, this thing works whether I connect, uh, whether I select 3.3 or 5 volts on my um, USB um, interface. It works the same. Now it is 3.3 volts. It blinks nicely, and uh, it just works the same. The sketches can be programmed so let me just check and measure the voltages so let's see here vcc and the ground is yeah 
3.3 volts no surprises here and on Arduino let me measure VCC pin which is bang on 3.3 volts okay let me switch this to 5 volts just to see what happens now we see bang on 500 zero zero volts and here no surprises 5 volts so this one accepts 3.3 and 5 volts okay then this is all for today and uh, if anybody can decode what the labeling is in Morse code leave it in, in the comments below and if you find this video useful or entertaining please give me a thumbs up it will help me start this channel and thank you for watching bye i have a working arduino mini mm, the world is my oyster now